Um, today, today is uh, Thursday. We have rehearsal at church, and uh, we already starting rehearsals for Easter. So we are working on creating some tracks for um, a few songs that we have to do. There, um, one of the songs we're actually going to sing it this uh, Sunday. It's called Messias um, by Avery Morillo. So the multi track is not available yet. So normally what we do, we create it here, and then we're part of the producers of the community, and we just basically put it for sale. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Um, my wife is on the other in the actual um, control room on the actual studio. She's recording vocals over there, and then I'm just here in the big space where we have the academy with the little laptop. I'm just working on some some of the tracks that we need. Um, I just recorded some pianos and um, plugs and stuff like that, and then I'm ready to record bass. It's right here next to me. I'm gonna record some drums, um, electric drums, and then I'm gonna do guitars. Okay, so I'm, I guess I'm gonna show you guys somehow a little bit of how I do things. Um, basically, this is a session that I have. It's called Messiahs. So, um, I have the track right here. Basically, I just download the track. So I always try to listen to what's going on. Um, this is the intro, so I have this patch in Opnisphere. Um, right, um, that's what I have, and then a little bit like right here on the chorus, um, there's some lines going on. Here's the piano. So what I did, I just basically recorded that separate. So it's easier to make, so. Right, that's that. Um, the other interesting thing about this song, it has like this um, arpeggiator or like some plucks. Um, that I, I guess I think that's what I heard so if you guys pay attention to the second verse it's like dun, 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 dun. so I think that's what they're doing um, so I just found this plugs inside of Omnisphere Obviously, um, I, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but at least that's kind of the whole concept. Um, I think that's the whole song. Um, and then there's like another set of plugs right here on the bridge. This. Then the piano does the same thing. So that's basically what it is. And then the drums. Um, I just try to match it. Obviously, this song was recorded live. So, these are drums. Um, those are drums that I'm using. I'm using um, Easy Drummer. I'm just using a DW24 16 by 24 collectors. The snare is a Ludwig 6 5 by 14. Then symbols, I think it's mostly pasties. Um, that's what I use. This I just normally I bring down the pitch a little bit um, just to make it sound a little bit more worship. Um, so yeah, that's 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 what I do. Um, now I'm gonna record. Um, I'm gonna record bass, and then I did just gonna do two tracks of guitars only. Um, for now, just because I, I need this for, um, I need this for rehearsal. Um, so my wife is over there. I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she's recording vocals right now for this song. So, um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do bass. I'm going to do two, maybe power chords and, and overdrive, maybe in the same track. And maybe just switching pickups. So I can make the guitar like sound a little more aggressive and, uh, the lead and, I think that should be it, at least for rehearsals. Um, we have a full band this Sunday, and we're going to have a full band for Easter, too. So I don't have to worry about filling this a lot. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. So let's go. Okay, so, yeah, my, I'm using my Squire for bass. Um, 
for my tone for this type of genre, I always go with um, for something more dark, um, but something that cuts um, through the mix. I always start with something flat. Um, normally what I do, I start with a blend. I have maybe also like 70%, 30% in the pickup blend. Um, I start bringing up the tone a little bit to bring some clarity, a little bit of bass. I want something dark, yes, but I want something that cuts through the mix, um, so I don't have to worry. Again, these these are tracks I'm using for the church. Um, um, we um, sell them to a local community. It's not like uh, we're producing a song from scratch, so I always try to get like a good tone from scratch, so I don't have to get crazy or go crazy mixing it to make it sound good. Um, so, so a tone like this normally works for this genre. But this song is pretty easy, so um, yeah, I'm gonna start recording a little bit. This uh, verse, I'm just gonna play with a with a pick because that's what I hear. So, Trying to mute it too. So I'm also going to show you guys the basically the patch that I use for um, for Omnisphere. I have a patch which has like piano, strings, pads, bells. Um, um, it's like an all-in-one thing. I use it for stuff like this. Let me open it up. So this is what I have. It has a piano, a natural. It has an MKS twin. It's like an EP. Um, this is like some bells. I don't use it a lot. So very, very low. And um, fade to green is pad. And this is some strings. Same thing. This is up this sphere. It's under it is under arbs, um, BPM plugs, and then this is called colors of light. That's the one that I use. And then all combine. All right, guys, I'm recording the, the um, lead for um, this song using the Veritas that I have from my friend, um, my last week with it, so i um, recording this. Um, it's basically the tone that I have. I wish I had the pug. Um, I don't have it here, um, but it's okay. Um, I'm just gonna go with that. I'm using a box. I just switched the. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit, but I basically switch the cabinet um, delays, reverbs, and, and a pedal top. So. Yeah. 